Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We have another Ben's haul for you guys. Kathy, uh, this is what, two trips? Yeah, and technically, I wanted to show you guys these, but these came from another day. Okay. It's mainly just these two, I think. Okay, you so know, just the last two days. more or less a collection of things that you've got from various places. Yeah. Same place, various days. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and these are just, um, I think they're just like little, I think it's called a bedroll. Okay. It's like something you just throw out and you can lay on, read a book, or it'd be cute outside, but I wouldn't want to put it on the ground. Like mm. if we had some sort of chair to like lay that on. Oh, it's bigger than it's I was big, thinking it was. It's like a down insert inside. I'm pretty sure, did I already say it's Opal House? Which I think is Target. Okay. But. It's got some various primates and mm. peacocks. <laughs> See what, I mean, these are cute. <laughs> there's something. I no, I think they're like cool. I was thinking in the movie, if we're watching a movie, but yeah. there's just lay out one of these. It seems like very bohemian. Yeah, I just, I couldn't leave them because like linen pricing is 49 cents now. So these were probably like a couple bucks each. Okay. I don't know how much they were at Target originally, but with the down insert, probably like 50 plus dollars. I was so. gonna say more than a couple bucks. Yeah, and like the covers are, take off and washable. I'm sure you could probably buy other covers to like do it with. So. Okay. I like those for me. Those are cool. What do you think, Reese? I like these finding stuff for myself at the thing. Chilling in the sun. <laughs> um, I got these games. So this one's just for Chris and the boys. Yeah, and you know, this is Dungeons and Dragons. This is a good thing to be looking out for. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons and a few of these tabletop games are huge, uh, huge followings. Yeah. This is, I think it's like 20 bucks, it's still available on Amazon. This one's not great, but yeah, yeah. sometimes a certain even like figure or something yep. for a lot of money. Yep, so this is a beginner set. We're going to be keeping that, probably teaching the boys how to play D&D yeah, &D so here soon. Yeah, for 69 cents, I did check, it seemed like everything was there. And then Catan, I found before and we kept it, that one was full. I did not check it, this one was full yet, but um, I figured it was worth, you know, even selling. Or if it's not full, then I'm sure I could sell a certain parts of it. Part yeah. it out, but also our kids are still young to where they sometimes lose pieces. So just having this as a backup for yeah. 69 cents versus having to buy another $50 game if we, yeah. we like this game. So. I know they have like expansions yeah. so you can make bigger maps, but we could probably like make our own expansion With these. and do like a, yeah, like a big custom map kind of thing. So. If we really wanted to go down that road. <laughs> love finding games at the bins. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is just some random stuff. Okay. Uh, this guy, he found his sunspot. <laughs> <That's a laughs> I don't, this is not going to sell for much, but I thought it was cute, like, for somebody that's scrapbooking, maybe. Hmm. Just a little, like, rodeo page, maybe. I mean, I might list this for like five to ten bucks. It probably didn't even cost that much, but it's very cute. Yeah. So I'm going to list it. Um, you know how I sold some of these before? And I've been collecting some. Duplo, every, right? Yeah. So every time I go to the bins, I specifically just look for the Duplo figures. Not yeah. Not necessarily the actual Legos. <clears throat> I have probably four or five. Um, the last set I sold was like 28 of them. Uh -huh. So I don't know that I'll save up for that many. Maybe like 10 to 15, maybe 20. I don't know. Basically, I'm assuming I can get about a dollar a figure in a lot. Yeah. So, send some at the bins all the time. Just grabbing those. They don't really cost anything extra. Right. I don't know if Duplo has like the one or the two that are super expensive or if they're super collectible, right. like the regular size Lego ones, but minifigs, I mean, <laughs> get them, especially yeah. <laughs> from, the, from the bins. They're basically free. I kind of wish I didn't already list that lot of these, remember? Yeah. But I already did, so I'm not going to add this to it, but I'll probably list it on its own. But too bad, St. Patty's Day is in a few days, so it's not like I'm going to get this listed and sold before then. But this is not going to go for a lot. But I grabbed it because it was new at the bins. Oh, we should start sorting, huh? Um, let's do this first bin is what I'm going to list on my own. We'll go. Here, I'll move these since we're keeping these. This I got because the mask or whatever sold so well that one time oh yeah i don't want this it seems like it's the uh, what is it the, uh, the thing that you put water in i guess oh i think it's still new like a humidifier yeah so i didn't check off i just threw it in my bag but I think I can sell it since it's just a piece of it and not yeah. the actual medical part of the machine right. or I, anything. You probably don't need a prescription for that. Maybe you do. I don't know. We'll have to look into it a little so, bit. But Yeah, I just grabbed it. <laughs> the 
But yeah, the mask sold like in a day for $26. So yeah. We'll With CPAP stuff, if it's if you need a prescription for it, then you can't resell it. So just like other kind of, you can't resell prescription <laughs> pills or anything like that. So. Um, it's I just got for us a garlic peeler. I don't know. How do you peel garlic? Like. <laughs> Oh, but the, what is it? you were trying to explain this to me. I, I have no idea how yeah. it works. <laughs> now that I see it, it's like a little rubber. Tube. It looks like a fake manicotti, manicotti <laughs> yeah, so noodle. You just like, I don't know. What is, it, what is it even called? Peel, I guess, garlic peel. The, the rind? <laughs> That's gross. We'll try it out. Anybody uh, use that garlic peeler? <laughs> I'm curious now. I also did not look this up, but I sometimes will just grab plushes at the bins. This looked like it was only $10 new, but it's from Cabela's. It'll probably sell for a few dollars. This I... Well, Connor was in the knitting. I don't think he is anymore. This is open, but it seems like it's all in the unused, which these are expensive, like if you buy them online. Yeah. I feel like these are like 50 bucks. This, this specific like a Wobbles kind of thing? kit, yeah. Woobles. Okay. I don't know. I mean, so this all seems like it's in there unused. I don't know. So, I mean, I'm, I didn't look up pumps. I mean, they got this to see if he wanted to try this this summer if he's bored. <laughs> Yeah, he's done like the the ones on the rings, like the loom yeah. hand knitting. But yeah, I think he's tried crocheting, and he's like, this is too hard. He likes making this scarf with grandma, so we'll see. We see want to do it. I just buy stuff because of the yeah. Clothes. A little windy today. Uh, these were in the bins. These were like new sealed, but I wanted to see what they were before. I decided if I got them, so I did make them. But there's three of them. I feel like these will be good just in our kids' closet or something. Yeah. No, those little sorters. I don't know exactly what I'll use them for, but I can always use more sorting. Use them for sorting, yeah. yeah. So those were cool. I got this if you want it. It's just a little Kohan toiletry bag. Oh, okay. I know I already got you one last time, but why I not? like that one. It goes yeah. inside of another bag. Yeah, it's pretty small, so it's cute. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Grab this stuff. A little bit of everything. Uh, this is for the pillow collection. <laughs> it's just a cover, so I'll add an insert. I just thought that was pretty. Yeah, it's vibrant. Yeah, so that's for us. For, I feel like everything's for us. <laughs> you see, he doesn't want to be in the sun anymore. Are you getting too hot? <laughs> uh, this is also for us. Just a little throw. I like that color. I like the knit. It's pretty. Yeah. So there's been a lot of home goods lately when I've been. Good. Uh, this is Orvis, a little Sherpa bucket hat, which I feel like bucket hats are in because it's kind of, I feel like Y2K-ish. Okay. So, this is probably about 20 bucks, I would say. I'm going to list that. This, I don't is know that it's vintage? quite vintage. It does look like an older tag, but it's a little Swato Pooh Bear. Oh, I don't know. If you're going to get, it's got poo all over it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Honestly, this is probably 15 to 20, so I'll list that. Yeah, I mean, just looking at it, it looks old. Like, it looks yeah. like something that would have been from the 90s. So, I just thought it was cute. It's a little... A little Ewok. Yeah, backpack. This is cool. It's like a backpack. So, but you can wear him. Ex know, yeah, show it. <laughs> looks, it's like he's he's getting a piggyback ride. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh, yeah. I think it's more for kids, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> turn turn the other way so you can see us. This? Oh, his oh. cape is all like on his face. He <laughs> cute to wear around Disney or something. Yeah. So all this that. Uh, I didn't look up comps, but maybe 20 hopefully. Yeah. So that's cute. Cute, cute. Right, what do we got? I'll list this uh, from Target. Okay. So, Tablecloth? Sugar school tablecloth, yeah. I feel like that'll be fun for like a party this summer or spring or for somebody. This is another tablecloth, like a more fancy one. Good for holidays or something. I sold a tablecloth the other day for 20 something. So, yeah, they include this in the linens pricing. Well, Ross only had it for $10.99, but I can probably take that off and hopefully get like 20. And then there's two of these. I don't know that they're new, but they were wrapped. They are West Elm, which I love this color, but West Elm is nice, so I could probably sell these for like 20 bucks. They're just throws? Yeah, but I don't know. I'll keep or sell those, but yeah. And a basket. This little basket is from there too, yeah. It's a little dirty, but I can wash that. So, 
I swear I bought some stuff to sell. I there's the stuff you're going to sell, the shoes. This. Um, Carhartt jeans, these are women's. I'll probably list them just because I don't think my slip trade would take these. They're, if they were men's, maybe I don't think they would take these at Uptown Cheapskate. This I just thought was so pretty. It's not necessarily a brand I know or would say go run out and pick that up, but. You're losing me. I bought this based on style. I just thought it was really nice and it's a 2X like a maxi length skirt, so I'm sure that's at least 20. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got some torrid gauzy shorts. I might take those to Play-Dohs or do that. Jimmy John's hat I have sold. Well, I sold the beanie. I would and uh, up, didn't you have an apron or something? I don't know. I, I've sold a lot of like fast food working yeah, stuff accessory, like this, so yeah, yeah, worker accessories. Um, this one's dirty, so I will wash it, but I saw a comp on this exact hat for 20 plus ship, but there wasn't like, you know, they always have different ones come out, so I don't know if this is one they can still wear or some right. people just like wearing them or what. I would say at least 10, but possibly up to 20 on that. Uh, this is Castles and Crowns. I don't know the brand, but little girls smocked, and boy too, smocked things. These retail for like $50, so I can usually get around 20 for them. So I'll list that. I don't think Once Upon a Child would take that anyways. Okay. Uh, this is Patagonia 100% cashmere. Ooh. It does have a hole in each armpit, which I thought was fine. Because it is the armpit and it's like probably easy to stitch up. Oh, yeah, I bet that would be. I didn't see any other holes, so I'm sure I'll find some when I go to list it, but. Yeah, we'll it's list it, not repaired. Soft. Yeah. Someone can get a good deal, patch Someone's it up. Still gonna love this. And then we're not trying to like show like a repair. We don't like doing that. <laughs> Especially since we're not like good at repairing stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is a Columbia men just button up. I'll probably take that to buy some trade first because I have a lot of button ups to list myself. These are Gap, which I like selling Gap. Doesn't sell for a ton, but. Everyone knows what size they wear in Gap generally, so I might take these first though to Uptown Cheapskate. If they do not take them, I can probably get about 20 or so. Okay. Uh, this I got because it was new, so it's like Broncos, but it seems like it's a little handmade like Etsy type shop. Robin Ooh. Roos. Okay. So I couldn't find like an exact comp on this. I saw one not broncos it was another team i don't remember listed for like 40. i don't i mean there's a retail on here of 25 so mm. i was thinking i can get 15 to 20 maybe but we'll see um this is forever 21 which i would never pick up but i hope that my sell trade will take it it is new it was only a five dollar retail on that so <laughs> i'll cut that off but yeah, it didn't weigh much so i figured i'd take a chance okay Shout out Brandy. She gave me some kids' clothes. Thank you, Brandy. <laughs> she also gave me those torrid gauzy shorts. So nice. Yeah, it's just a basic tee, but once upon a child, we'll definitely take that. Uh, I think I found this one. Jumping beans for once upon a child. Got some can can jeans. I don't know if the buy sell trade likes can can. Like I've seen it there, but I don't think they've bought any of the ones I bring them. So I don't know if it's like this looks like a skinny, which is probably not what they're looking for. So mm. I don't know. I like to sell them anyways, even though they're not the best. So yeah, it doesn't really say a style on here. I'm gonna try in there though. Uh, Chico's Travelers. I do like selling that. So I'll list this myself, probably for thirty or so. Has like a cool detail on the sleeve. Oh yeah, so, is that open all the way? Yeah, and okay. Chico's Travelers is like this like slinky-ish oh, yeah. material. Oh so. yeah, springy. Yeah, good. Tra Chico's Travelers, good for traveling. <laughs> uh, this is Wooden Chips, which I believe is an anthropology brand. It's just a scarf, which I don't really like selling scarves, but I thought this was cool. It looks like it's partially wool and mohair. Mm. Has a little peace sign on it, so. I feel like it would do okay for yeah. St. Patty's Day. I mean, um, that's too soon. <laughs> yeah. So that's cute. I'll list that. Um, I think this is Turtle Fur brand. Yeah. No attack. I'll list this one. I've sold that brand many times, even pre-owned for like 15 to 20. So this has a retail of 32. I can probably get 
at least 20 on that. Uh, this I just got because it was new. Some compression stockings. So I think I did look up a comp on these, maybe like 15 to 20. I don't know if my receipts are in here. Since this was two days, I feel like I spent about $80 each day. Okay. Okay, I spent 80 each day, but then I also spent 15 on something. We'll just put the picture. It's a big stroller, which I showed it on my Instagram. It's a baby jogger. Yeah. Which those retail for like, the newest model retails for like close to 700. The one I found, I think, and now retails for about like 4 99 or something. Mm -hmm. But even pre-owns on eBay, which I don't want to ship it, so I'm gonna probably list mine locally. Even pre-owns on eBay were like three to five hundred. So yeah, I don't know if people just really like that one or what, but I'm hoping I can get at least two hundred locally. Yeah, so, locally we won't get the same as eBay prices, yeah, but we don't have to ship it. There's you know, yeah, there's people advantage. People will just drive and meet us. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. It, it'll probably be a while. It needs a good spray. Down we're gonna hose it down. So yeah, the hoses. In Colorado, we don't have our hose hooked up for anything. It's what, yeah, it's yeah. still freeze time, so we gotta wait till. It'll just sit in my garage for now, but yeah. So eighty <laughs> plus eighty each day plus fifteen, so for everything I'm showing you plus that stroller. Yeah. Minus those bed rolls out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Which we're not that much. Yeah. Uh, these are some Hades. They are dirty on the bottoms, but the tread is really good, and like I can tell, they don't look like they've been worn. So someone probably wore these once and just got them this dirty. I wash these in the washing machine. I just pull out the leather insoles because the rest is just like cloth. So those should wash up nicely. Um, probably 20 to 25. I actually just filled a pair a few minutes ago for like 25 that I got at the bins last week, so. Nice. Uh, these are Northeast Outfitters Cozy Cabin Gloves. I was thinking about like bundling these maybe with that hat. Not necessarily to like, the hat would sell good on its own, but like these probably wouldn't, so. Oh. Almost just like throwing it in to make it seem like a better deal. Yeah, it wouldn't really same cost price me almost. much more on shipping or anything, but I don't know. People are you know. talking that bucket hat thing? No. Or the no. the Broncos hat? No. Or the other hat? <laughs> this hat. Oh, that hat. Okay. <laughs> there's some gray on here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like I don't know, but then I don't want messages like, "Can you just sell the hat?" Because like I'd be pricing it as if I was just selling the hat, right. just including it. So I don't know. I might have some stuff just because I, I can't deal with messages that are like, can I have it this right. way? Right. I might have just got this for our kids. Little Van Beanie. Okay. Needs a little wash. Uh, shout out Shonda. I have so many Ben's friends now. <laughs> uh, yeah, she gave me this and I'm keeping it for myself. Probably to wear on St. Patty's Day. Just double navy green crew neck, which is, I wear crew necks like yeah. every day, so. It's weird. It's coming out more like a hunter green on yeah, camera. It's not like super St. Patty's green, but it's green yeah. enough to wear. For you won't get pinched. pinched, right? Yeah, and it just it, that kind of green. I think like the dark yeah. forest kind of green. I think it goes good with your hair. I think it. That's my second favorite yeah. color. <laughs> All right, we got these Converse, which are pretty dirty. They do say they're waterproof, so I can probably wash them pretty good. The treads were still really good, and it seemed like a cool model, so I just grabbed them even though I have to clean them, which I don't love. All right, um, I imagine those are at least 30, maybe even a little more. Okay. Uh, this is a Wrangler, like, oh, jacket. Those. So remember that one, like, in the last haul where it had a bunch of hair on it? Yeah. <laughs> I just washed that and listed it, I think, last night. Um, but yeah, so this will be an easy, since it's, like, the same exact thing. I'll just copy my title, change probably the size. This one doesn't have a hood like that one did, but... That'll just be an easy thing to list. And these, I usually list around 30 bucks. So okay. I love shackets. Yep, quilted line, fur line. Yep. Oops. Oh yeah, I showed you this. <laughs> it's really gross, but it's just, I only got this for my costume. So. Yeah. It's one of those weightlifting belts, but I want to be mischunchable. I've mentioned it before when I sold the other belt. That was a medium, didn't fit. This one does fit, so. I just need to make a hoodie, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. So that's just for me. Trunchbowl. So what, if you're going to be Trunchbowl, what do I get to be for, if we're um, going to do like a... I'm going to be that kid with the cake. <laughs> what is it? You calling me fat? No, but like, no, there's like not very many boys. Of course, I'm a Bruce guy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Bruce. There's no boys in that movie. Brucey, though. yeah. <laughs> is there any other boys in that movie? Um. There's Miss Honey. Yeah. Like, her friends are girls. I could be uh, uh, Danny DeVito, yeah, that's <laughs> true, the <you> dad. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is, I thought I just saw a stain, but I'm not. I might have just been in the sunlight. This is Athleta. 
Just like a nice little sweater thing. You okay, Reese? <laughs> Hi. You want a sweater? <laughs> I always see sweaters there, but I don't buy them for you. Uh, I mean, buy, sell, trade would probably take this, but I might list it. I don't know. I'll decide when I go to list it. <laughs> These are Hollister men's. I don't really usually like picking up Hollister, but I will list them. I feel like men's jeans do a little bit better. Button they do fly. have the button fly. Yeah. I feel like they're an older model. This tag seems kind of old. So I'll try these at Play-Dohs, but if they don't take them, I'll probably list them around 20 bucks. I feel like I found another one of these the next day. So you might see another one, but this is just like a little... What is it called? real uh? tree, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why. Is real tree its own brand? I always see real tree on like just camo. Like I, I feel know. like real tree is the trademarked camo pattern. Okay. But I'm not sure about that. That's just right, my assumption. Like the tag doesn't say an actual yeah. brand. So. Like if you want to have that specific kind of camo. Right. It, okay. It's real tree, I guess. I don't know. So yeah, I don't know what these are called. The little face warmer things. Ski mask, but it's for hunting. Yeah. I'll list that maybe 10 to 15. I, want, I always, I know it's not baklava, but no. there's, it's like a blah. I know what you mean. I'm not about to balaclava say Balaclava no. or something like that. Yeah. You don't want to have white, like you don't want to. I don't like white hats. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I sweat a lot. This, I thought this was Brooks. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, Brooks honey. Okay. So it's white. It's a tiny bit dirty. It's in pretty good shape though. Like nothing gross right here, which is usually the dirtiest thing. So. It probably is just dirty from just being with other stuff. Yeah. I can probably get 10 to 15 on that. Play doesn't even take that. I might just put it in there. Brandy gave me this one. Cute Shiny. Girl's dress for Once Upon a Child. So. Cute. Yeah, little party dress. It's got that small pattern mm -hmm. that I love. <laughs> this is Levi's brand. Um, like a newsy cap? Yeah, a newsboy's cap. I don't know if Plato's would take this kind of a hat because it, maybe though. I'm going to try these hats there because like, you know, hats hardly weigh anything. And if they give me a couple bucks, I'll be happy. Little Jurassic World slippers for Once Upon a Child. Okay. This hat, I'll probably list. I don't think Buy Sell Trades would take it. I don't know the brand necessarily, but. Bula? I just like buying hats at the bins. This one was new. What? You just have a lot of hats. I did. There was so many hats and gloves. I think I might have even taken a few gloves out and already listed them. Yeah. Um, yeah, this day, actually both these days, I feel like there was like a whole bin full of just gloves and hats, which huh. not everybody is grabbing that. So. They're pulling them off the floor of the yeah. Goodwills. Anyways, this one's new, David and Young. Okay. I'll probably list that. And then this is just that like CNC, which is like a little boutique. Mm. These were popular like years ago, but I'm sure I can still sell that for something. Uh, this is Sensi Buddy Koala. I've never found the koala. I don't know how much it's worth. Hopefully at least 10 bucks. It does have a, I feel like I get a few extra dollars when they have the scent packs. What does it smell like? Um, perfectly pomegranate. I was going to say strawberry. Oh, some kind of fruit, huh? Yeah. So that's cool. That's koala. Cool. Uh -huh. dirt. <laughs> I tried to catch it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just some. Why not? What are they called? Um, just covers. Just lift up pasties. <laughs> pasties. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ross only had it for seven, so it's probably not worth much, but. This stuff, I just, it's so easy to list this stuff. It's all this list. Yeah, it's got a barcode, right? <laughs> this is, I never know how you see that. Thule. I think it's Thule. Okay. Laptop little, case? Yeah, laptop cover. Honestly, this is probably like 20 bucks. It's a little dirty, but it's like hard to where I think it will wipe down pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Like I can probably wash it with water. So, yeah, I thought that was cool. I'll list that. Uh, this is a little sports sack. Which I think this pattern is very cute. I mean, this is probably at least 20. Maybe a couple tiny snags. I mean, it's not in bad shape. Like, I did check the bottom pretty well. So, yeah. I like it. I'm going to wash it and sell it. I think I'm going to steal that. The little sports sack? No. The doll? The mouse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's itchy or scratchy. I don't know yeah. who, but it's from Simpsons, yeah? Yeah, Simpsons. New tag, little plushie that I'm going to sell. 
<laughs> for my retro, for my retro room, how much is it? Or how like where, what year was it? Oh, it doesn't look. This tag doesn't look. It's super not too old. old. Um, I think it says 2018. Okay. Not super old. And then this, you want this too? What is that? Animal Crossing. Oh, I do like Animal Crossing. <laughs> I don't. Um, this guy's not familiar. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Is he a turtle? Numbers get. Yeah, looks like it. It's 12.99 originally. Whatever. No. Was there a year? No. Because Animal Crossing could be pretty old. Yeah. So, okay. I just pick up new with that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, got some Burks. They look a little crazy, but I think they are kind of meant to be like that. I mean, they might be a little bit more frayed than they should be, but yeah. the bottoms are really good. I always find it funny when ARC stuff is at the bins. <laughs> just because it's... ARC is just like our local thrift store, so... Yeah, do you think they offload it to Goodwill at the bins? Right, yeah. I mean, it's very rare that I see it, so I always feel like it's somebody bought them and just, like, then we donated them mm -hmm. themselves. I don't know. All right, so those are probably 50, honestly. Wow. This is a brand I usually only buy at the bins, Vince Camuto. But it's, you know, it's sandal season. I don't particularly like this style, but I feel like somebody would like it. So, and they're in very good shape. I know that looks dirty, but like they really don't look worn other than maybe yeah. one time. So, probably at least 20. Nice. Some aerosols, which another just bread and butter, probably 20 bucks on those, but really good shape. Uh, I didn't look these up. I just threw them in. I thought they were pretty. Someone make a necklace. Cl oh, okay. Some beads. Yeah. And then this. You remember I sold the Where the Wild Things Are? Yeah. I sold that for like $15, one stamp. There's a ton of stamps in the bins. I only bought this one because it's Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown saying good grief. It's probably not worth that much, but yeah, I sold a Where the Wild Things one for like almost 14, 15 bucks. Yeah. And it sold really fast the other day, so I grabbed it for that reason. Uh, this is an Oakley case, which I was going to get the case anyways, just because I like picking up glasses cases. But then I found some mini fakes, so I put them inside here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're like frozen. Okay. So. They were from a, there was a whole set, although I'm sure it wasn't a whole set, so I just grabbed these. This was in there. I don't know what that is or if it has to do with frozen. I don't, I don't think I've seen frozen. Hmm. It looks like a cake or something, like a cake stand. But yeah. that looks like a pizza. <laughs> I don't know. So, it's anyways, a frozen cake. I didn't look these up, but I'm sure, you know, at least probably 10 bucks for the three of these, like okay. total. Yeah. Like, at least. So, I'll list that. And I'll probably list the Oakley case for around 10 bucks. Uh, this was somebody's Fitbit. Some Fitbits? Well, the or one, one Fitbit? One Fitbit and two extra Some bands. bands. So, I don't, we don't have a charger for this, do we? I mean, we might have an old Fitbit, but. Uh. So I don't know. <laughs> Some Fitbits can sell pretty well. Yeah. Um, but, you know, these didn't weigh much, so I figured I'd take a chance. I don't know what we can do, if anything, with them, but, yeah. You could probably sell untested. Yeah. I found a new in-box Fitbit at a Goodwill for, like, 15 bucks once that sold, like, overnight for, like, 90-something. Yeah. So, I don't know. I didn't get it. This is an American Girl doll. I think she has her hair cut a little chopped in the back, but mm. that's okay. I've sold a couple recently with no clothes or anything and chopped hair for like 30 bucks. So this is probably at least 30 bucks. I don't know which girl it is. I'll have to Google it. That's I feel how like I figure them all out. It I looks don't, funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually know any of them off the top of my head. So. Uh, these are, this is Vans. Is it like a key yeah, lanyard? It looks like shoelaces. I was thinking it was either a lanyard or laces. But almost feels like it's both. Maybe it is both. Just laces. <laughs> Just laces. Yeah, so vans, checkered laces. I don't know that these are worth a whole lot on their own. Maybe our kids can have fun with them. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, I did sell a van's lanyard the other day for like six or seven bucks. So maybe. I'll check. Maybe I can add them. I feel like I have a pair of vans that need laces. So. All right. This <laughs> actually I feel like is worth 20 to 30 bucks. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it though because... How do you get the batteries out? I can't like, ship it like this. <laughs> do you guys remember the thing? I remember the thing. <laughs> yeah. So it, was, it is vintage. I think it's from the 90s. But yeah. I, mean, um, I don't see a way. Oh, it does open. Okay. 
So I could essentially take the Okay, list, yeah, I guess. that's how you do it. Okay. You answered your own question. <laughs> so that, yeah, some people have these listed super high, although some people still have the tag attached. I saw some pre owns at least for 20 so. Cool. It's funny. Okay. And it's going to be going off. When she was trying to bring that in from the car, it went off like 100 times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this half of the hall is 82.30. These are probably just for us somewhere. Little baskets are cute. Oh, those are cute. <laughs> Like oh, you could chuckle at me saying that. I like when you that. say stuff is cute because... I like baskets. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was, yeah, that was that part of it. I try to mostly keep them separated, so the next time... Okay, so this is the next day you're saying? Yeah, and I think I separated these, like, clothes and everything, so... Wasn't a ton. I think I only stayed three hours maybe each time which does actually sound like a lot so this is probably five to six hours worth but yeah some days it's just not as good i mean i feel like i've got a good enough amount for that time this is a toured bra okay <laughs> so i'll probably list this on my own for 15 to 20 easy to ship i'll list my own i'm gonna just add one pile to this bin for now because you list your own piles yeah. getting too big so, new list my own pile <laughs> Uh, these are American Eagle, so we'll start those at Play-Dohs. Um, yeah, here's that other mm. one of those. The baklava. Yeah, so real tree. It doesn't say a different brand, so okay. don't know. Holistic. We got Torrid black jeans, size 20. I can probably get at least 20 bucks for these, but I might take them to buy some trade. I have a lot to list. I finally am, well, I was mostly caught up on taking stuff to the Vicel Trade before this. Yeah. So now I just have to list everything they haven't taken over the last two months. So, which is, I spent like one good day like photographing almost 100 items. And like, I still have at least that much more probably. So <laughs> that's what I'm working on this week. Uh, this is for Once Upon a Child, little bathing suit from Walmart. This I'll list myself. I like Ralph Lauren stuff. This is women's, I'm pretty sure, y'all. Yeah. I almost thought it was Masters for a second, the kind of, the nice. color scheme. and. Yeah. Too bad I didn't find this a couple weeks ago, because this would have been nice for sneak patties. This is probably at least 30. Yeah. So. Uh, this I just thought was super cute. It's Aiden and Anais. I just like, no, I have a I thing for <laughs> swaddle blankets, even though they're not worth that much. I sold a... Uh, Winnie the Pooh one, I think, today for like 9 or $12 with discount shipping on Bosch, so I'm making like 7 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this is probably about $10 plus shipping, but mm -hmm. it's so cute. Yeah, you get to reminisce Mom and be is. like, I wish I had this for my kids when they were babies. Yeah. I was constantly buying and trading, like selling and trading those. Yeah. I think um, we still have some, but yeah, you haven't. We do, because I like them, and I don't want to necessarily get rid of you should, them. But you should have some commission like somebody to turn I've, it into something. Yeah, I like don't usually keep and save things, but like that's the one thing I have saved is little yeah. swaddles. Uh, this is J Brand. This looks like a super old tag. I, I don't know. I know I heard people mention this brand a long time ago, so I just like denim cut off shorts this time of year. I'm gonna probably take them to buy sell trade, but. If I have to list them, it's probably 15 and 20. Uh, Brandy gave me this. It's Carhartt. She gave it to me because it's kid size, but it is like big kid size, which I feel like this listing it myself would be better than taking to one's my child. Yeah. So thank you, Brandy. Yeah. Uh, now I feel bad that I'm going to list it because you could have listed this yourself. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can make it up to her. Find her yeah, something. I like Carhartt. I try to find her something. I don't find that much for her. <laughs> Uh, these are really cute. They're Cat and Jack. It looks like it was part of an outfit, which I only have this part, so I'm take that off. <laughs> um, so I don't know if once upon a child I'll take it since it's not complete, but it's so cute. Yeah. Okay. Worth a shot, though. Yeah, this is just a little baby, like, swim diaper. Cover. I'm going to put it in once upon a child. They take swim, but I don't know if they take a swim diaper. Mm hmm it doesn't, it honestly doesn't look like it's been worn. It's, it's basically yeah. a swimsuit for a baby. And I can, I sell these all the time for like 10 bucks, so I'll list it if I have to. Uh, this is Beta Brand, but a scarf? No, not Beta Brand, Beyond Yoga. <laughs> Beyond Yoga, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I love the pants by this brand. I saw this just peeking out in the bins like this. I was like, oh, please be pants in my size, because like I literally love <laughs> these pants so much. 
It's a scarf. I don't. I didn't look it up. I don't know how much it's worth, but it's got a something. zipper on it too. Yeah, it has a little pocket. Like a pocketed scarf. So, hmm. yeah. So that's cool. Got a smart wool beanie. Is that a kid size? Looks pretty uh, small. Maybe not. Hmm. Stretches. <laughs> Although you have a tiny head. I don't have a tiny head. <laughs> So this is probably 15 and 20. Uh, this is Target Cat and Jack for Once Upon a Child. I think I just bought this to try on. Yeah, it's not like a brand I'd buy. Newsbury, because it looks like a boutique brand or something. Mm. If it doesn't fit, I'll probably list it for like 10 bucks. Probably it's not gonna fit, but I'll try. Uh, these are Elizabeth and James, like the Coles line, which this was Mary Kate and Ashley's clothing, like, but they had an expensive line. Mm. Then Coles made a line of their stuff. Anyways, I don't think either of them necessarily exists anymore, but I only got these because they were like a flare style mm. and a larger like size 12, so. I'm gonna take them to buy a trade first though. Hopefully, I mean, I feel like flare style is something. It is something. It's something. <laughs> I'm not wearing it, but some people like it. A little old navy onesie for one to find a child. Am I making it in the bin? You did. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, this is Talbot's like new tag. It's not, it's not any good material, but it's a pretty color for like fall. Uh, yeah. That's like a yeah. As far as rust goes, I like that. It's, it's like cotton and rayon, so like not even a single bit of wool in there. But Talbot sells okay. We'll see. I'll probably just list that on my own. This is Five Eleven Tactical flannel. Nice. Yeah, I like selling Five Eleven Tactical. So. It's just a flannel, but probably 15 to 20, probably like 20. And then I love selling these. Also, L.O. Bean Sherpa lined like jacket thing. Does that have pockets? Yep, pockets. With pockets? I do feel like this might have had a tiny hole or something, which I still bought knowing that. Yeah, that's a good little chore coat. Yeah. Though. Light chore oh, coat. I think that might have been it. It's not a hole. It's just like a little, almost like a Sharpie mark or something. Mm. So I think at least 20 still. These usually go for 30 if it's an okay shape. All right, so uh, it's actually been uh, 40 <laughs> minutes or so. We, uh, we ran out of time, we had to go get the boys from school and Kathy had to hurry up and do her shipping for the day, <laughs> which we hadn't done yet. So I think we were just about to get into this bag yeah. and we were almost done. We were trying to squeeze it. It's mostly shoes after this. Yeah. yeah. So that it fits weird. I mean, the lighting is a little bit different. Reese is still here. The boys are just upstairs. Yeah. Um, and my shipping got to the post office within 10 minutes to spare, so they can do that night, right? <laughs> right. Uh, this is a, I've never seen this boppet before. So, you know, I love boppet, so I get them all the time at the bins. Yeah. I actually keep this one because I don't think we have it. Our kids like yeah. to have, they, they basically have every boppet. Yeah. But, um, these are Dr. Scholl's, but. Dr. Scholl's does okay for me, around 20 bucks. I thought that was a stain, but it's just like the suede mm. being weird. So, 20 bucks. Some Kamek snow boots, a little dirty, but those should be 25 to 30. Got some Gordini gloves, so. Gordini? Yeah, those are probably at least 20, maybe even 30. Oh, this is a pair of Dekine that came from this haul that I must have just started taking out today for like $39.95, so. Okay. Some gloves can go for a lot. Uh, this is a Subaru. Net. Just like a net, yeah. It says rear, so I can like a little one for your trunk. This Cargo net. Useful, yeah, thing. like. <laughs> put your fruit or your ball. <laughs> your, <laughs> I'm thinking like sporting balls. Like, like a... <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I mean. I'm Shoes? Sure. What, yeah, what do know. you put in the bag of a super? Groceries? Yeah. So, that's probably at least 20 bucks though, so I'm gonna list that. And... Got some more shoes. And a receipt that says 80, how weird, 8205. That was like about 82. the same, yeah. 8230 something. Yeah, looks like the literal same. Cool. All right. A uh, little dirty, but some keen, uh, I think, yeah, these are a safety toe. Hmm. So, uh, the tread's dirty, but like not worn down yeah. or anything. So right. they're in pretty good shape. 
I always kind of like judge the shoes. Love shoes, obviously the bottoms, but like also by the insoles, which these are pretty good still. Yeah. So, um, in 13, these are probably at least 50 bucks, maybe more. Very nice. Yeah. Um, some Bansko vegan. They're a little dirty. Yeah, but. They're okay. okay. <laughs> Maybe at least, at least 20 probably. You got some have, kind of embroidery on Yeah, them? that's pretty. It's just not in amazing condition, so. Um, these are dirty. I'm going to wash them. These would fit me if I don't think they're going to come cleaner, so. Just North Face like slippers, though. Mm. So, I don't know. If we ever go on the school or something, maybe wear these yeah. if I have to keep them. Go on a road, a road trip all <laughs> across America? Fourth of July. Oh. <laughs> slippers, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, these are Maurice's, so like a faux leather, but I've sold some Maurice's shoes recently, 15 bucks or so. so. Nice little sandal. Sweet. Um, these are, you can see, really scuffed on the toes. Yeah. But they are not too bad on the bottoms. And these the reason, wrestling shoes? Yeah, they're yeah. wrestling shoes. And the reason I got them was because, you know, some wrestling shoes can go for hundreds of dollars. So I always look them up if I've never seen that model. Like, obviously, the basic Asics and stuff, I don't look up those but i can tell if it's like more of a special one this seemed like more of a special one than mm -hmm. the typical nike ones i've sold before i noticed on the tag it says nike inflict um and then i just it also has the style code but uh at the end of, i first just looked up nike inflict so let me just do that really fast nike inflict all right so i didn't put like women's men's or like anything yet there's 147 listed, so I'm gonna filter it down to used. There's only 39 used. Uh, let's filter it to men, 11. That's listed. The and, size? Yeah, and then there's 72. Oh, I must have taken the used filter away because there's 72 sold, but there I see some new ones. So filter condition. Pre so still 34 sold so very high sell through okay some of these were going for hundreds different colorways i mean we can maybe do a screenshot video on here but like anyways so nike inflict wrestling shoes seemed in general oh like look at that pair that's yellow but like look at the toes it's still sold for 70 oh yeah so i mean these are yeah i pick wrestling shoes up to sell them for 30 so these are at least 30 right maybe more um this colorway i don't think there was any listed pre-owned not and this is a good size 12 so um yeah i feel like blue is a common like high school right very common high school color so, so i think these might do pretty well yeah uh, i would say honestly probably at least 50 but we'll see even with the flaws so cool yeah I've um, got some my slippers. These are not in amazing condition. A little dirty on the inside, but probably around 20 bucks on those. Nice. These are for once upon a child, children's place. These are just Walmart sandals, but they basically looked new. I thought they were a decent little style, so I can probably get 15 bucks out of those. These are for once upon a child, little Santa slippers. <laughs> I'll list these because they won't take cleats, but Under Armour, like a kid's probably football cleat. Nice. Probably 20 bucks out of those. I don't know if I've ever sold this brand. El but Na Naturalista? <laughs> they feel really nice. Like, it feels like a very nice leather. The bottoms don't really look worn down or anything. I imagine at least 20, probably closer to 30 on those. Uh, I'll probably take these to Once Upon a Child. Little kid's berries. Cool. I just don't get a ton for them. These are Dansko. They're a little dusty looking, but they don't really look too badly worn down. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of heel drag. I feel like this is a better style than the typical clog, so these are probably about 30 even and dirty. I mean, I'm gonna dust them off, but. 30 and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are Bear Paw. These are men's though. A little, a little dusty, but they look hardly worn, so I don't know. At least 20, probably 30. Okay. Um, and then lastly, we're just these Menton Salvatore Ferragamo, Ooh. which I stopped picking up a lot of these 
a long time ago, mostly the women's, because they're like, like these, I'm pretty sure these are like a vintage one. The women's vintage ones are super slim, like just very narrow. Very narrow, yeah. Um, and they just weren't, stopped selling for a good amount. But I've done pretty well with men's. These aren't in amazing condition. Like, they're pretty worn on the soles, but yeah, the leather is still pretty nice. Okay. I don't know. I imagine, you know, if I'm picking up shoes at the men's, if I can get 20, I'm going to pick them up. I think these are probably even 50 still. So. Okay. But they're like a European, so they're like, they're still pretty narrow? Or just I the women's? Those are narrow. No. These are a 90, so okay. that's pretty standard. That was it. That was it. All right. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing we stopped to go get the kids because it took about an extra eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we had that to spare. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we got stuff. For you. I mean, you got quite a bit to list yourself today yeah. from that those two bin halls. Two, so. And yeah. then to the store, uh, to, to, to the Buy, Sell, Trade stores. So, Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Reese looks like he's ready to go outside. You want to go outside, huh? Things to get some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're going to head out. Um, good thing you got your shipping done. We're going to go hang out with the boys. Yeah. Maybe do a little listing. Do that kind of fun stuff. And then we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.